The Mid-South is filled with a lot of great art and artists, right? Paint Memphis is an organization that paints murals around the city, and that's to help beautify it. Local 24 News reporter Brittany Muncrease shows us their surprise when they learned some of those had been vandalized. Throughout the city of Memphis, there are murals, murals painted like the ones behind me. Those were done by Paint Memphis, and about a week ago, they found that some of their murals had been vandalized. It's an unwritten code. Do not tag anyone else's art. Across Memphis, someone either didn't get the memo or simply didn't care. To me, it's the saddest thing to do is have to tell an artist that this has happened. Karen Golightly is the director of Paint Memphis. Paint Memphis is a nonprofit organization that paints murals at an annual festival every year in order to really try to transform the landscape of Memphis. Because of COVID and social distancing, the festival lasted roughly seven weeks. Shortly after finishing most of the murals, I got a text from the owner of Soul and Spirits Brewery, which is one of the buildings we painted on. He sent me a picture and he was like, I assume that this wasn't part of, you know, Paint Memphis, right? Karen was spray painted on the murals at Front and Second Streets. Before the Paint Memphis incident happened, this um, person kept writing Karen over a graffiti writer in town named Zarf, tagging on abandoned buildings that didn't have graffiti underneath them or all around, out east, downtown, midtown, all over the city. So there was no real pattern to it. Leaving many confused, but with a surprising and abstract response to the mystery mural tagger. Come paint from hey, Memphis, actually. Let's do it on some legal spots. There's plenty of laws in this city. So let's just join together and make them be amazing. Karen said Paint Memphis is currently in the process of restoring those murals. In downtown Memphis, Brittany Moncrease, Local 24 News.